What's up guys, it's Triple and Maximilian back again with another video. Let's talk about the arms, how to grow them. I'm gonna give you one quick workout. First set is gonna target the compound movements. Second set is gonna be isolation exercises. Let's go. Now this full bicep and tricep workout is going to begin with the compound movements, which means more than one muscle group is being targeted. So we're switching the grip to a close grip for the pull-ups for more emphasis on the arm muscles. After we do five of these, you go straight into five close straight bar dips. This is another variation of the regular straight bar dip, but with the closer grip position, you will definitely feel your tricep working more, especially if you squeeze at the top. Now, these first compound movement sets are triple sets, so right after that dip set, you have 10 diamond push-ups, a classic push-up position that emphasizes more of your tricep in the pushing movement. Use full range of motion with proper form. Now after this first set, you're going to rest 45 seconds or nothing more than a minute. Now you're going to do five chest to bar chin-ups, which works on your explosive power. And when you're in the chin-up grip, you'll definitely feel your biceps more. Try to pull up as high as possible so the range of motion is maximized. On the last fifth rep, you're going to do a negative chin-up, going down as slow as possible. You're going to take a breath and move on to the next exercise, which is five standard pull-ups into an isometric head hold under the bar. Try to keep your head touching the bar for the full 10 seconds. Walk straight to the dip bars and perform five slow dips. It would be ideal if the position of the bars was closer, but make sure to control the full movement down and up. Once you're done with this exercise, you can rest, but no more than 60 seconds. Now we move on to the isolation exercises. Find a low standing bar where you can get into an elevated plank position. Put your feet as far from the bar as possible. Squeeze your core, grip the bar with a pronated grip and bring the elbows down as if you were crushing your skull. Try to keep an overhand grip because it is taxing on the wrist, but for the triceps, it is one of the best calisthenics exercises for the isolation movements. If on a low bar, it is too hard for you, then move up in the ladder position. So the higher up you go, the easier it is. Do 10 of these before moving on to the next exercise. These are gonna be called head bangers in the supinated grip. You can get into an l sit position, which also targets your core, but this forward and back motion extension and contraction is killer for your biceps and the entire arm. Do 10 of these, breathe, and then switch the grip. So now it's 10 headbangers in the pronated grip, either in the L-sit position or the regular position. This grip is going to emphasize more of your outer forearm and the brachialis muscles. We move down back to the floor to hold a hollow body diamond push-up hold for 20 seconds. Then move to five very slow diamond push-ups. Now you're going to walk over to the dip bars and you're going to perform 10 Hephaestal curls. Adjust your grip accordingly to the circumference of the bar, but it may be awkward at first, but once you get into the correct position, you're going to feel a beautiful emphasis on your bicep. It is just like a regular gym curl, where you're using a dumbbell, but instead, here, you're going to do it with your body weight. Make sure you're properly warmed up for this movement. Now your arms should be feeling it at this point, but we're not done, you're going to rest 60 seconds. Find a ladder or any object where you could position your body where you're in the chin-up position and your elbows are resting. You're going to do five very slow ladder chin-ups. Because there is minimal movement in the lower half of your arm, your biceps and back are doing all the work, pulling up your entire body weight, creating great stress on your arms. You're going to take minimal rest before moving on to the next isolation exercise. You're going to grab the heaviest band you have and perform tricep extensions just like you would at any gym. But here you're doing it with minimal equipment. 
try to control the full range without shaking too much. So you're going to do five for each arm with a five second hold on the last one. We move back down to the floor to finish off with our second to last exercise, which is tiger bends for the tricep. Keep the elbows in on the eccentric part of the movement, really squeezing your tricep on the top. After you do five of these, hold the diamond position for five seconds and now you're on to the last exercise. This is going to be a simple max out for the one arm dead hang hold. If you can't hang with one arm, hang as long as possible with both arms. You will feel your forearms pumping at this point, but before dropping, try to give yourself at least five pull-ups. Now, your arms are probably gonna be one of the most stubborn muscles to grow, especially in the calisthenics world. But if you do it right, doing the compound movements before, hitting the isolation exercises at the end, you're definitely gonna see results. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We're trying to hit 50K by the end of the summer. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities